now. All right, so we have a session today to make you, to empower you, to equip you and how you'll be doing what you should be doing as employees in the new workforce through the system, all right? So I have asked the admins um, on what should you be doing. I'm currently sharing the document on what we'll be going over today, uh, logging into workforce ready, the basic orientation and how you will be clocking in and out, how you'll be submitting time off requests, etc., cetera, and et cetera. We will go over each of these topics as we, as we go along with our session today. Okay. So this is the site. I'm not sure if the admins have already provided you um, the, the link for your site. So basically, this is where you will be um, accessing the Workforce Ready system, okay? And for the employees, we have already your employee information in the system. So just like for Darlene, we have her here as well. Everyone is already here. And we would advise that you go ahead and log in to the Workforce Ready system. So how do you log in? What you just need to do is to provide your username and your password and click on login. All right, so I have here my test employee. I will log in as my employee and just hit on login button here. And you, you will be prompted to change your password. So you just pretty straightforward. Just, okay, I can hear. Just change your password. Okay, hit on change. And then you will be redirected to your page or your home page. Now, your home page is your dashboard. Your dashboard is something like it's pretty customizable, whichever way you want. If you want to put your reminders for yourselves, if you want to see what are your to do items, if you want to see the announcements that were made by the admins, you will be able to see it here in your dashboard. Okay. All righty. So that's how you log in. Very simple. Just Put your username, your password, and then that's it. Okay. Okay, let's move along then. We have done that already. So let's talk about what you will be doing with the Workforce Ready system. So once you have logged in, team, what you just need to do, I really recommend that you go to my account, my learning, and you'll be able to see here the, lear the learning tools that will make you more familiar with the system like access and navigation how i will be doing the access i mean how can i log in how can i log out what can i do with my account can i request how should i request a time off how, how can i cancel my time off all of learning materials can be found in the my learning section here okay you will also you you will also see here uh, um, job aids. If you hover your mouse over there, you will see in job aids. Some might be a um, three minute how to video too, and how you'll be accessing the navigation. Okay. I would like you to play around with your own profiles, you mean your own account. If you want to go to other tabs and see what you can find there, please do so. You can edit the tabs if you want to. Just click on edit tabs and bring in other tabs that you want to add there okay next up is how you guys will be clocking in and out so if you may notice when when we hit on the work first ready site if, um, the part where we tried to log in we put our username and password there is a clock in button there so if I log out from here and go back to the site you notice it clock in and clock out using this functionality will automatically clock you in and put your time entries there clock out the same way just logs you out all right there are other ways in how to do that too so let's do that right now let's try to clock in as my test employee again okay and it will say that let's punch in successfully now, how do I know if it really is um, reflected in my timesheet? So what you're going to do is you can check your timesheet if that time has been recorded. So you can do that by logging in. So let's log in. Okay. And what you can do is go to my account, my timesheet, my current timesheet. My current timesheet basically 
shows you what is your time sheet for the current pay period. Okay. And you will see here that we have logged in around 9.06 a.m. just one minute ago. All right. You will see here tracking purposes. If you have clock out, it will show up here too. Okay, so let's try and now, if you may notice, you also saw here clock in, clock out button. So instead, uh, you can do that as well, clocking in and clocking out. Aside from the previous page that we were in, you can do that here as well. Let's see if I, let's see if I can clock out. Yep, and I did clock out. All right. So that's how you clock in and how you clock out using the the previous site, the previous page, or this functionality here, clock in and clock out. All right. Okay, moving on. That's how you clock in and clock out. Now let's talk about how you'll be submitting your time off request, or you want to request for a leave or a uh, vacation. So here you need to log in to do that. All right. From here, you go to My Account, My Time Off, and here, click on Request. You will also see that the learning material on how to do that, My Learning, My Accounts too. You will see here how to submit requests for time off. It is a job aid that you can download. I think it will be in PDF or in um, PowerPoint. Okay, so just go back, My Account, My Time Off, and Request. Okay and select which type of time off you want to request. So I have here um, the PTO vacation. So let's just, let's just say that I want to request for a vacation. Okay, when do I want to request for that? Uh, let's just say on the 23rd for three days off. Here. And you can put here comments. This is optional though, but it, it, this will give you um, the managers, this will give the managers more information on what your vacation for, what are you requesting time off for? Something like that. And then hit on submit request. Okay. Ah, I see. So let's just change that to another day. Okay, let me, let me check something here. Now let me go back there. My account, my time off and request. Vacation. Okay. That's just say the 15th. I think there might be a rule that restricts them for requesting time off if the, the current balance is would become negative. So as of now, the current balance of the employee is zero, and that that kind of bit of um, restricts the employee to request for a vacation. But basically, for you to request time off, once the vacation balances have been imported already in the system, you can then go ahead and request for vacation. The same way, you go to my account, my time off request. And here, request for what type of time off, what day, it would be a full day, partial day with a start stop. I will just need to specify here the time times that you will be off, partial day book, 
how many hours. Multiple days if you are going to be away for a couple of days, more than one day. And then once you have done that, you hit on submit request. All right. That's how you do request for time off. And I said a while ago that that functionality, I mean, the guide on how to do that as well, can be found here, request time off. You can download that and check out. All right. Next up, submitting timesheets for approval. Now, once that pay period is already ending and then we need to process for that pay period, this is how you're going to submit your timesheets. Okay, you go to my account, my timesheet, and my current timesheet. Now, if you want to submit this timesheet already, just click on submit for approval to do that. Okay, hit on submit for approval, and it will say that if you're going to submit it, you can no longer do any modifications there. Okay, and then hit on okay, okay, I cannot do any modifications anymore. All right. I have a question here from Andrew. If we are requesting time off over a weekend, do we just submit one time off request or do we need to submit two time off requests? One request for Thursday, Friday, and the second request uh, time off on Monday, Tuesday. Good question, Andrew. So team, if you're going to request over the weekend, you can just put there the time. So the system will automatically determine that if it is a weekend and it will just skip it. So you just need to put there my time off request. An example of that is, let's say 17 to 22. Multiple days. So 11, 22. And then eight hours per day. And the system will automatically do the skipping of the time, I mean, the weekend for you. Oop, or 7.5 hours per day. Okay. All right. And Julian for, yep, thanks Julian. Or we have a question from Mary that once we switch from the new system, will our past timesheets be available to view? Nope, we are not importing any previous or historical timesheets. Okay, so all of those that you have already logged your times in the new system, that is only what you can view. We are not expecting any migration of historical data. But that would be um, for the time that you will be actually using Workforce Ready System. And we have a question for Darlene in the total hours and time it is 2080, which is 40 hours per week. Going to be changed as well. All right. For that, Darlene, we have already discussed with, with Julian and Sarah and the team. That, that that is not necessary to be changed because what we're actually doing is tracking your hours, your times here, okay? And then we're, go we're going to calculate that based on the rules that we have for you. We have a question from Andrea. Can you pull old time sheets from the old system or will that system be shut down? From, from the discussion that we had with the implementation, um, with Julie and uh, the, the other team members as well, is that we're gonna we're not gonna migrate any historical data. So those previous timesheets, all the old timesheets, will not be available here in Workforce Ready. And we're going to use Workforce Ready for the new time entries that you will have for the pay period, which we're going to set your system as active. Setting your system as active means that we're going to use it for live punches already. Okay, so yeah, you have a lot of questions, and I would also like to go um, move uh, move forward with uh, with uh, trainings here. Strength versus the work in specific. Okay, 
So how do you view your accrual balances? So you can do that if you can notice when we requested, try to request for time off. You see here your balances here, okay? How much balance do you have for PTO for vacation? You can also see that in your profile too. My profile here, the accrual section, you will see it here, your balance. Okay. Alrighty, so that's how you view your balances. Next up is viewing in past and future timesheets. Now, I I have discussed um, with Julian and the implementing team as well that what we're going to do is we're going to do parallel testing team on the 1st of December. So basically what we would want you to do is punch in both systems and let us see and compare if those times in your current system, in your old system, and when work first ready are the same and the amount of hours that you are being paid is also correct. We don't want to pay you a short or double. Okay. Now, how, how do you check your previous or future timesheets? What you just need to do, team, is you go to my account, my timesheet. You can view your historical timesheets if you want to view the other, um, the previous one. Or you can just go from here in my current timesheet. You will notice here the hours to the left and hours to the right. Um, just going to the next timesheet and going to the previous timesheet. If you want to preview the the old timesheet here, you can also go forward if you want to do that too. Okay, that's how you view previous and future timesheets by just clicking on these arrows here. Okay. Next up, what happens when a system admin closes a payroll period or a timesheet? All right. So once the once you have submitted your timesheet and you you submit to your manager that hey can you please review and approve, you can no longer do any modifications there. If you may notice the one that we have we have submitted this timesheet, we can no longer do any modifications here because it's already submitted. The same goes hap that's the same thing happens when the when the payroll admin, it could be Julia and Sarah, closes the pay period you cannot do any modifications there, okay? Alrighty, how do I edit, modify, or cancel a time of request that were approved already, okay? So this is how you're gonna do it, team. Um, this, this functionality is also available in the My Learning part on how you can cancel or modify your time of request here, canceling the approved time of request or modifying pending time of request, you can do that there as well. You can see that there as well. But let me just show you how you do canceling, okay? So you go to my timesheet, my current timesheet, whichever timesheet that you are in, you will see here change request in the upper right corner. Just click on that button and you can change, you can specify what is the change type. Would it be, uh, can I, should I cancel a time off or can I modify my time off? Right now, I cannot cancel any time off or modify any time off because I was not able to submit any time offs because the system is restricting me in um, requesting for time off because I don't have any balance as of yet. And we will be importing your balances into Workforce Ready as we go along with the implementation. Okay. All righty. Next up is how, yeah, by the way, how do you will be, how you will be canceling or modifying your pending time off? So you do that here, my account, my time off in the history. It will show up here, your pending time off. What you're just gonna do is just hit on the X button to do that. So that the guide is also available for you to download and it will show up here let me just show you this is the guide that I have downloaded and we have questions with regards to time off so I'll answer that Darlene hold on for just a minute so this is the guide that was downloaded on how you modify your pending time off request you go to my account my time off request the recent request 
you can click on modify here or you can cancel it if you want to okay we have a question here from Darlene that does it cancel all of your requested time off nope Darlene you can just you can cancel only you can select which time off you want to cancel if there are specific days that you just want to cancel um, that will be the only one that will be canceled not all of it okay all right our are salaried individuals expected to log in and out? I accept employees. Yep, we will not be tracking those. Alrighty, so let's move on. Viewing your profile or what your employee information is. So you, you can view your profiles here in my account, my profile. And here you will see um, your name, your employee ID, how many balance that you have and we have set it up that you can do any modifications here if you have um, you want to change your name you need to reach out to the system admins so that they can change that for you we have restricted you to do any modifications here so that you will not be prompted for any VCA configuration codes all right okay we have a question from Andrea how do you record personal time off or sick time so as I've um, shown a while ago on how you will be requesting for time off you go to my account my time off and here in request this is how you'll be able to request for time off now if you if you, maybe your question would be how will I know which ones I mean which ones have been approved or which ones have been still pending you can just go to my account my time off and here in the recent request I mean my time off history you can also see here that the time off is already approved has been rejected has been it's been still pending you will be able to see that there and then again I I cannot do time off as of now because uh, the system is restricting me to do that because I don't have any balances okay all righty all right so I think my teammate here has tried to configure it in such a way that as of for our testing right now, the system will will oversee you guys. I mean the balance as, as of now because this is just for testing purposes, training you guys on how to request time off. So going back and requesting time off, you go to my account, my time off request. Okay, request for vacation perhaps. Uh, we'll be on vacation on the 21st. Submit a request. And here, it is submitted. You will see that in the pending approval part, you will see here that uh, 7.5 is pending for, my, for the approval for vacation. Okay. And you will see here that this is the vaca I mean the time of request that you submitted. Now, if you want to cancel this, um, I changed my mind. You can just do that here, delete request, okay? Now, once the, the manager has approved your time off request, you can do the modify part where you go to my account, my timesheet, my current timesheet, and then if you can still remember in the change request part, you can then cancel the time off and such. Now let me go go ahead and approve the time off of this test employee and see if we can see the day if, if we can modify them here all right so let me approve that let me just log in as my super user Okay, here it is. Let me approve that. All right, now let me go back to my employee. If I go to my time off request, will I be able to see that it's still new? Now the state is approved. It was approved by just a while ago. Okay. And let's go, If how do I change or cancel that? 
go to my time sheet, current time sheet, change request, cancel timer. And here you'll be able to see that one if you want to cancel that. Okay, if there are multiple time of requests that were already approved, you can just select, hi, I just want to select that one, I want to cancel that. And then it will be submitted to the manager for approval. Okay, if you want to modify here, click on that. Uh, instead of 7.5, I'm just gonna be out for four hours and submit changes. And then the manager will have to approve that. Okay, now if you may notice, the once the time off has been approved, <clears throat> it will show up here in your timesheet on the day it was it was approved, it was requested, and you will see here the comments. Okay. You requested a test, comment, and approved. It was approved by who? By the manager. All right, I see a lot of questions here. How do I clock in and out? Clock in if I'm not if I'm at an off-site breakfast meeting. Same for evening. All right. We have a mobile application that you can download, team. Um, basically, it will just somewhat look like, let me go ahead and do that to show you. And I would suggest that you download it as well in, if you're using Android, Google, Google Store, Play Store, iStore. It will, you just need to put here your company name. Now, please do remember that your company name is this one. This is unique for every company that is using Workforce already. Just, you just need to do this. Put here your username and password to log in, and you can clock in there. Okay, let, let us do that. Yep, and the server name is this one, Betsy, 614-0987. And you can use the application in the mobiles to clock in and out if you are an off-site. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks, Julian. Alrighty. So we're going to the last part of the topic here. We have just shown you that you can do any changes in your profiles and you need to reach out to the admins to do that for you. Next up is overview of any communications or notifications that you will receive from the system. The notifications that we have set up for you guys is that you will receive an email that your account has been reset. So it will just show you, hey, your account has been reset. This is your new password. This is how you're gonna do that, okay? It will be coming from no reply at chronos.com. So please do not block list, black, blacklist those sites. You will also receive notifications that your time off has been approved or has been rejected. You will also receive that your time sheet, that's the one that when you submitted your time sheet and you hit on submit for approval, you will, it was also um, been approved or rejected. Okay. And a time sheet change request as well. When you hit on the change request, I cancel here. What, ha what is the status now? Was it already approved by my manager? Did he cancel the time off? You will also receive that too. Okay, here. And then again, I have recorded this meeting and I'm gonna send it to Julian so that Julian can send the link to you guys on where you can download the video recording. And what I would really suggest, when you log in, go first in my account, my learning, and check out these learning tools that you can um, make, you that will make you familiar with your system. Okay, all right. We have employees that do not have phone with apps. Can they call in supervisor if ending day offsite? Oh, if that would be the case um, where they don't have any phones, they might need to call the supervisors because the managers have the ability to put time entries in a timesheet of the employee, okay? All right, and for your question, Christine, 
um, is Kronos JOS compatible? We are still confirming that with our subject matter experts if Kronos can do that. I will get back to Julian and I will also copy in that email, all right? Yes, thanks. All right, thank you. Okay, we have gone over all of these. So any questions, team? Yes, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. Uh, yes, um, uh, this is Carol. I missed the first two minutes of the um, uh, application here. I'm trying to find out uh, when I want to go into the system for Kronos, um, uh, where do I go on my desktop? Where is it that I begin when I need to uh, clock in and clock out? When I go to my desktop, uh, where am I uh, checking in? Good question. So you, first you need to open the browser. Um, I suggest that you use Google Chrome and then type in the link. I'm not sure if this already sent out to you, the link for Workforce Ready. And then this is what will happen. Um, Carol, you just need to put here your username and your password to log in, to clock in, clock out. Okay. I uh, Thank you. All right. You can... Yep, as Julian suggested, you can also save that as your favorite here. So once you click on that, you also see here, here it will be directed to your home page. All right, any other questions, Dean? We still have 27 minutes, so we have ample time for any questions you might have. Hi, this is Susan. We have some staff that actually work weekends. Uh -huh. um, will the system be configured to not disallow anything that they, you know, we have staff that submit time off be uh -huh. over the weekend because they work weekends. Uh -huh. um, will that be accommodated for them somehow? Good question. So what I would suggest for that, Susan, is that when they request for time off, they also need to utilize, they need not to utilize the multipole. Let me just show you real quick. I count my time off my request here. Now, instead of using the multiple days, as this will skip the the weekend, Susan, I would suggest that they all utilize the full day here for that specific day. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. The question for Jane, I think, is already answered by Julian, but there is no limit that you can log in, log out. It's available 24/7. Now, if you might be locked out, there are instances, guys, that you will be locked out maybe because you forgot your password. You can just use the forgot password link here, okay? And if still that doesn't work, please do reach out to your department managers as they can also reset your passwords for you. All right. Any other questions, Dean? Pretty straightforward, so I would really suggest you guys check things here and there because um, play, play around with the system because once we have, once we are about to set your system as active or once we go live, we're going to remove all of the test data, I mean the test entries that we have, and then so that we will have like a fresh start. Okay. Right. Any questions, Dean? I'm going to send out the minutes of the meeting as well. Um, I'm going to send it to Julie and what we have talked about today, what should be done there for you guys to be more, make you familiar with your system together with the link as well, where I have uploaded the video recording that we have right now. Okay. I just want to reiterate again that it is very, it would be a best practice as star for starters, that you check out the my learning tools in the workforce ready system once you have logged in. This one. Okay.
the server name is for the mobile app, right? Uh -huh. So Michelle, um, Julie will be sending out the information for that, but it basically looks like this. Let me just create, re simulate that for you. So once you have load, downloaded the system, um, the application in your phones, you need it somewhat look like this. So I can log in with mobile. So let me do that. Because I just recently hired this test employee. Give me one of my team. So where were we? All right, so let's just say this is your phone. Uh, you have already logged in. Just click on the time and labor management here. What you can do here is you can go to your timesheet. Okay, you can click on this timesheet here. I will have to make um, a precaution that the mobile is not really that robust as of yet. Okay. So you might need, it's not very that the same of the functionalities that you can find in WordPress Ready when you compare it to your mobile. Now, if you may notice that the clock in and out buttons are already disabled because we have submitted it already just a while ago once we have showed you that. Okay. Please do check out as well the, the mobile applications and what you can do. Let's do here. You can request for time off as well using your Move out and hit on submit. Okay. So let me do that through my mobile. You can also see your balances here. Let's just try. Let's try to verify that. Is that submitted here? Yep, it's also submitted here too. I think I have also set out, um, Michelle, the, the steps and how, what you can download for the mobile application to Julian and Julian will be sending out to you guys. There are, there could be, there are like multiple workforce ready application in Google store or Play Store. And there is only one that you can download. I mean, that is correct. And that information will be sent out to you guys as well. Right, team, for the, when you click on that, do you, you see there's by SAS HR, that is the one that's the correct application. Workforce Ready by SAS HR. So uh, let me just pull out that email that I sent that contains the mobile application to show you the screenshot from the, the mobile phones. The company name Ashley is the 
Okay, and here we go. Uh, if you're using Android, this is what you will need to download by SAS HR. Okay, if you're using um, iOS, this is what you're gonna do by SAS HR too. You're welcome. All right. Okay, team, so we have reached the end of the topics that needs to be discussed. Any other questions? None? Okay, so Julian will be sending out the, um, the communication to you that please to log in. And for your user usernames, I presume that it was, let me check, the first initial and your last name. Um, let me check here. The first initial of your first name and the complete last name all right please the check 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 the system out test it out and see what you can find there if you have questions do julian um let julian know and julian will consolidate that for me to answer any questions that you might have okay all right so if there's no question i think we can call it a day and i want to thank you everyone oops All right, thanks, Julian. So thank you, team, for joining the call. And do check out the WordPress Radio System. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye.